Hey guys, so I just did a tutorial for the Taylor Swift inspired hairstyle. Um, I really love her hair. I think it's gorgeous and this is just kind of my interpretation on it. Um, as you can see, it's not exactly the same way she does it. It's a little bit more looser and I think it's a little bit more wearable for a lot of girls. So if you want to know how she does her hair, then keep watching. And um, I also did her makeup look kind of for it, if you can see that. If you want me to do a tutorial on it, I will, but I know a lot of people have done um, Taylor Swift tutorials for makeup. So if you want to know how I did this hairstyle, then keep watching. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like um, after I, I guess, have it air dry. Um, it's still pretty curly. It has a lot of wave to it. So um, if you're someone who has super straight hair, I recommend using this Aussie styling gel right after you get out of the shower. Um, it really just helps your hair hold a curl better. Um, and I also used this body boost um, from Garnier Fructis and it's just a volumizer kind of just volumizes my hair um, so that's the only product I really have in my hair I recommend though any Aussie product for me personally that holds a curl like no other so go for Aussie alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to section my hair kind of like right above my eyebrows and just pull half of my hair up and I'm just gonna like clip it on top of my head kinda looks a little funny but you know so first what I'm going to do is take this Chi 44 Iron Guard and just kind of spray it all over my hair because this will protect my hair from the heat. Alright, and then after you spray that on, you want it to dry a little bit because otherwise you'll be like frying your hair off, which is probably bad, but you know, do what you want. Alright, so next I'm going to take a curling iron, and this isn't like anything special, it's just a normal curling iron. And I'm going to take one inch sections on my hair, and I'm going to go the whole way around my head and curl every one inch of hair. So it's going to be a little bit time consuming, but it's worth it. So here's one inch, and I'm going to start at the bottom, and then I'm just going to curl my way up. And Taylor curls her hair like outward, so make sure you're pulling it out rather than curling it inward. If your hair doesn't hold a curl very well, you can spray them after each curl, but I usually just curl like one layer, and then I'll spray it, and then I'll curl another layer. So it's up to you, but that's the loose curl. Alright, so I'm going to go and do the rest of my hair, and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like after I curled the whole bottom layer. So what I'm going to do is take this one out and pull these back. Then once you have the rest of your hair down, what you want to do is kind of find where your bangs are and pull these away because we're going to do something different with these. Alright, so now we're going to do the exact same thing that we do with the bottom layer. We're just going to start from here and go a whole way around and curl this layer. Alright, so after you curled all of your hair, you're going to take out the little clip that was holding your bangs back and just separate them a little. So this is the part that makes Taylor Swift's hairstyle really recognizable. She always has her bangs pulled far over to the left hand side and they're always slightly curled at the end. This part's always straight and then this part's always curled. So what we're going to do is take the curling iron and take a little piece of the hair and then we're going to only curl the hair about halfway up. So. So only go about halfway up and let it sit for like 10 seconds. We're going to have this weird little curl like that. It's going to look kind of weird for a second, but we'll fix it. And then do the same thing with the rest of your bangs. Alright, so now you kind of have these little like weird half looking curls going on. So what we're going to do is take this whole section and just bring it back like to right here. So if you want to like have like somewhere to place it, take like where your eyebrow is and just go straight over to the side and that's where you want to place it. So stick your bobby pin in. And there you go. And see how like these little pieces kind of flip out? That's really what her hairstyle does. It just kind of like does this weird flip to the sides. And then of course you can go back in with um, 
bobby pins and just kind of like fix areas. And then what I do is I take my Aussie hairspray and I kind of just like spray my whole head. So I guess that's my kind of interpretation of the Taylor Swift look. It's not the exact same, but it's kind of like, I guess, a more like wearable look. Um, it's a little bit looser than hers. And I think it looks really cute if you have like a dance or a special event and I don't know, if you just want to look cute for a day. So I really like it and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later and comment below if you liked the tutorial. So bye.